it should start loading and it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be like a little pineapple running. Should say flashing NOR. Remember, don't disconnect your iPod while this, I mean, don't exit out of Quick Pwn while this screen is still on, even though it says the pwnage process appears to have completed successfully. Just wait for this to be done until your iPhone, uh, iPhone or iPod reboots. It's almost done. Alright, now your iPod should boot back up. If you replace the boot logo, you're going to have this instead of the Apple. Remember, still don't exit out of Quick Pwn. Just, you're going to want to wait until your iPod's completely booted back up. My iPod has, like, a bunch of stuff on it, so it might take, like, a couple minutes. Well, not minutes, maybe a minute or two. Alright, so my computer is starting to recognize my iPod. any day now. Alright, I'm gonna come back when my iPod's on. Alright, my iPod's on. I'm going to cancel the sync. Now here it is. Uh, also, if you had any, like, apps on it from before, they're not gonna go away. The only thing that will go away is if you got it previously jailbroken uh any jailbreak data will go away but if you had like cracked ipas or anything those won't go away see like i, I had this game right here guitar rock tour it still loads up fine and everything all right yep well you get the point all right now you can go ahead and exit out of quick pwn. I'll show you that it's on 2.2. Hold on. Alright. If you can see that, it says 2.2. Alright, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, I, I almost forgot. One last thing. Here's the installer right here. And Cydia right here. They both open up and work fine. Well, oh, the first time you open up Cydia, it's going to restart your iPod because it's got to, like, change all the configuration and everything of the jailbreak. Alright, thanks for watching.